everyone, welcome back to my knitting podcast. My name is Jennifer and this is the corner of the internet where I talk about the things I've been knitting on. Um, and I've also started recording some baking vlogs and I hope to put up some yarn dyeing videos where I try to figure out how to dye some yarn um, in the future. So we are here in the Southern Hemisphere in sunny Melbourne. We are in spring and heading into summer soon. It's quite a hot day um, and I have my newborn here with me. If you're wondering what this, this black little round thing is. Um, she's just having a nap now. She's getting to the age where she's starting to notice more of her surroundings. So I was hoping that in this sort of like dark and warm area she can have a nice nice little nap and um, she's been sleeping in here for a while so we'll see we'll see how long she gives us um, yeah so I have mostly been knitting on socks and some of these I have knit a while ago um, obviously I've been a little bit busy <laughs> taking care of the little ones um, but knitting has still been bringing me peace and joy and comfort um, whenever I have a spare moment so I have a few pairs of socks that I've made for myself to show you and also a little cardigan that I'm, I'm needing for this little one near. Okay, so let's get started. Um, I think you saw this pair of socks before. I've since worn them, so they are a little bit um, peeled and they have a bit of my hair on them, but that's okay. Um, I still really love the color. It's probably not quite so spring and summery, the color, uh, more winter and autumn, but um, still very comforting. The yarn is very soft, but the only downside to that is it has started to peel a little bit more on the foot than um, the other socks that I have. Um, and I don't know if anyone else has this issue, but because I need a contrast heel, cuff, heel, cuff and toes, um, especially the cuff, the heel and toes, not so much, but I feel like the contrast of not just the color, but it feels thicker than the rest of the, the sock. So I, next time I might just start with or just do a contrasting heel and toe and I feel like it'll reinforce that part a little bit more because this yarn is a little bit rougher, a little bit thicker than the rest and I feel like it doesn't, the texture, I don't know, just the look of it is a little bit bulkier than the rest of the sock when I wear it. But still loving wearing these, loving wearing these with my Birkenstocks, socks and sandals, so cool. Hand knitted socks, of course, um, makes all the difference, right, right, right. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know, but um, I like it um, and I like showing off my socks. So that's what I've been doing, that's what I've been wearing, um, very comfy cozy and yeah, probably don't need this as much now, but loving making them. These were done on Magic Loop 2.25 millimeter needles um, and I still have leftover yarn so I can make maybe another pair of shorty socks or yeah, we'll see. We'll see what we do with the scraps. Actually, some of the scraps that I used um, are in this next sock. So these are socks that I did for a knit along by the crazy sock lady um, here on YouTube. She's doing a knit along for her scrappy stripy socks. So they have like a little stripy thicker section here and a little strappy thinner section down here. Um, these were done on small circulars um, as well as magic loops. I was sort of experimenting to see which one I liked more when I was doing the straps. Um, and I definitely liked the small circulars better because um, when I was doing it with magic loop, it created sort of more of like a bumpy texture where I was changing the different colored yarns um, here on the foot. So I will just use the small circulars going forward and then just um, so what I do is I use the small circulars for most of the socks um, and then when I get to doing the heel flap and gusset section I use my magic loop needle so the longer cord ones so that I can get in and do the heel flap and the gusset um, and then once I finish doing the decreases I change back to the small circulars yeah I feel like that was a mouthful but yeah we got there um, it is a nice, I did it as per the instructions that she has on her project page. Um, 
I feel like I don't know if I used the right sort of yarns to make these because I used some of that um, Regia sort of self striping and it changes quite often the colours and the pattern so it's not as much of a contrast when you put it in a stripy sock like this but I still like the overall feel of the grey with the, the pinks and purples and the blue greens um, mixed together um, so yeah you can see some of that um, purple stripy yarn um, from my previous sock in here as well it wasn't a very portable project because I had like five balls of half balls of yarn um, in like a big bag to carry around so it was more like a stay at home project not really a lug around with me project um, but I really enjoyed doing them and I can see myself doing more of these in the future and I like um, having this sort of solid contrast color or main color to use with them um, yeah so it's nice to have a pair of grey scrappy stripy socks in my collection now um, and the last pair of socks um, was made after this because I used some of the pink self striping yarn in these socks to make this pair of shorty socks so this is another Regia yarn Shash and Maya Regia um, not sure how to pronounce it but yeah, I made myself a pair of shorty socks using 2.25 millimeter again, nine, uh, nine inch, 25 centimeter circulars, um, um, with just a heel flap and gusset. And I'm looking forward to wearing these with like my white Converse, just to add like a pop of color to my outfits. Uh, very hardy, a little bit rough yarn, but it's still fun to see all the different stripes and patterns knit up like that and I think I can make I definitely can make another pair of socks with the 100 gram ball of yarn I have so I might try to make some for a friend and then we can have a matching pair and that'd be that'd be really cute I think um, I have a friend in mind that I think would appreciate some hand knit socks so I can make those um, as like a little summer project down the road but I do have a few other things I want to finish first um, the first thing is this baby cardigan, um, it is called the Teddy Sweater um, on Ravelry, it is a pattern by Yarnspirations or a pattern by someone, someone made for Yarnspirations but I'll put the details down below um, and I'll put a picture here, that's why I keep gesturing over here. <laughs> um, and it is the first sort of garment that I've knitted which is knit in pieces um, so this is the back piece I am using 3.5 millimeter needles um, and the yarn I'm using is the Baby Meadow 4 ply by Bendigo Woolen Mills sorry I'm just getting fluff on my face I think um, yes so this is the back piece I don't know if I do this pattern again because um, this is one of the side pieces and as you can see it has like a border of the yellow um, and it just says to drop the yarn Ooh, um, it's very messy at the moment but that's okay we'll, uh, we'll sew it all together soon so you can see there's like a border of yellow yarn but it just says to drop the yarn in between so it becomes like this sort of like fluffy piece that I'm gonna have to sew onto the cardigan and I don't know if I'm in, going to be into all this sewing when I'm used to doing things all in one piece, garments all in one piece. Um, but yeah, I think the colours I chose are really cute. It reminds me of like a like something you'd see at like a seed heritage store um, for kids. Uh, and yeah, I'm just going to have to be careful when I hem this together that it all meets up, I guess. I just have one more tie to knit and then I'll be done with the knitting and then I can start hemming it all together. Um, I do have other projects that I haven't progressed on, um, like the sweater for Ash, but he will probably have to wait till next winter, next autumn winter to wear it at this rate, but I do want to finish that off. Um, I am still using up stash yarn. I'm going to try to make some more beanies out of this yarn for babies that we know that have been born recently. Um, it's a really nice time where all of my friends are sort of 
having kids as well um, and they all sort of play together when we see each other which is really nice and I want to be able to knit some little things for them as well um, but yeah that is pretty much all I've been knitting on recently um, whenever I get a spare moment um, we also went to a Ooh, are you okay when you're waking up yeah a little bit yeah you go back to sleep we went to a yarn market um, me and the girls um, the she's crafty yarn market in Melbourne and I bought a hank of yarn as you can see it is lattice sock fingering four ply 75% superwash merino and 25% nylon by Passioned Flower and the colour is in Christmas Beetle and I love it. I can't wait to cast this on for Christmas. Um, little baby I can hear is waking up at the moment. That's alright. We'll just quickly finish this video off and then we can uh, play a little bit. A bit of playtime. Anyway, um, I haven't bought sock yarn in a while, so I bought this and I figured I wanted a contrast colour, but I want to dye my own contrast colour. Okay, we're back. Yes, so I want to dye my own contrast colour and as you can see, there's a bit of navy blue speckle in there and I want to do a navy blue one. So I bought some undyed sock yarn that's coming in a cone and I'm very excited. Um, but yeah, I think we're going to wrap this video up here. Um, I hope you all have a great day. Um, we are going to try to keep cool. Stay hydrated and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.